Hello everybody, it's Codextual, and today we're going to be talking about only allowing certain devices on your network, even though that they may have the Wi-Fi password, or even if they have a Ethernet cable connected to the router slash modem. So basically, in nerdy terms, it is called MAC address filtering. And basically, just long story short, uh, here are everyone is at your household, and there's only four people who live at your household. There is the dad, the daughter, and son, and the mom, and here's everybody else who has the password. Because little Timmy just want to be helpful and like give out the password for every Everybody and be a good sport so everybody's not bored but the dad does not want everybody on the network so even though that little Timmy provided the password to all these other people they're still not able to get on the network because they are not on the approved list viva the Mac filtering list so before we get more into the video if you guys can do me one big solid is to hit the red button that says subscribe hit the post notifications whenever i live stream or upload a video you'll be notified on email or even a vibration on your phone that says hey good actuals live or uploaded a video if you have any nerdy questions feel free to come over on my live stream uh we get nerdy there or i just kick back and relax and just play video games it might be a rated m video game so just be aware if you have kids around yeah okay so yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to stop on by and say what's up or, you know, just hang out either or. Um, and also like and share this on all of your social media. I would really appreciate that. That would help out. So now let's continue on with the video. So how do we get our MAC address? Well, MAC address are identified right here, even though that this is the Wi-Fi that the co cable modem or router provides and this is specifically for Xfinity um, the same concept applies generally even though it, if you have like a different company and you were somehow watching this video and I will be doing videos on other manufacturers and other companies even though it's gonna be kind of like recycled content but um, there's people that want to be very specific to their modem and model number anyways so to get on to the point here how do we identify the mac address and the mac address is basically your unique number to that device so uh, on a windows machine you know we want to let me go ahead and close out of this on the windows machine right here it'll usually show the desktop icon or it'll show the wi-fi bars well what you got to do is click on it then click on network and internet settings and this will box will pop up and what you want to do is scroll down where it says view your network properties and it will say uh, physical Mac address or it might even say Wi-Fi Mac address so make sure that you have your categories set up so right here the name is the virtual box host only so we're gonna pretend that, that is the Wi-Fi um, Mac address description name and whatnot so down here we're gonna copy down the Mac address put in a notepad or you know just write it down and we're going to paste it right here well how about wh what if we don't know where this is at so there's an alternative way um, you can click on change adapter options and it'll say Ethernet then it'll say Wi-Fi or wireless connection um, whatever identifies which one's Wi-Fi just go ahead and right click on that click on prop or not properties click on status then click on details then right there is another physical address of your Mac address so that's a way to identify um, to get your Mac address for a computer. Um, let's work on an example for even for a phone. So I do have an iPhone. I don't have Android phones or something of that matter. If you have a different device, Google is your best friend. Just type in, um, for example, if you use an Xbox, how to get my Xbox Mac address, Wi-Fi, um, something among those keywords and uh, it'll tell you step by step so you can go to your general then it's gonna be on your about then right there it shows all the way at the bottom it'll say Wi-Fi address and that's your Mac address so uniquely it will identify with a couple of digits and a section of six so two a letter and a digit or two digits and two letters but in the section of six um, in between of the colon so let's go ahead and move that out of the way and um, another way to identify um, which device is which generally if you go towards your um, your router slash modems page and you go to the connection 
and or connected devices, it'll show you what's connected. So and what's offline and what was previously used. So that will help out you to identify other devices that have been connected to the network. So to get to this page, you know, you got to type in 10.0.0.1 into your web page. Um, then it'll prompt up with a username and password. Generally, by default, the username is admin and the password is password, all lowercase. Now let's go ahead and move that out of the way. And um, I'm just going to bring up another illustration here. So this is the main desktop and this is where the connected devices was and it shows all these other devices that were previously connected. So it shows, you know, my IPv4 address and my IPv6, the local address and my Mac address. Okay. So even though that this is an ethernet cable, um, and right here is how to filter out the Mac address for the wireless communication devices to get to so this uh, uh, blah, blah 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 excuse me <laughs> sorry anyways so this right here is for the wi-fi devices to filter out if you were trying to filter out a ethernet connection um you need to go to your parental controls and enable then do you want to block all devices or just you know allow all the devices what you want to do is hit enable and you can allow all devices, but you're going to add a block device. So you're going to block that and put in the Mac address. And this is kind of like a parental control. If you don't want certain devices to go on certain websites or look up certain keywords. So all you parents out there, if you don't want your child looking at, you know, adult images, you can filter out the words such as um, I don't want to say the word because I might get demonetized, but P O R N. So if you want to filter out that word, you could and such other um, words that are affiliated to that to such of a word so um, it it does more than just simply you know block you can block type of access to a website or even if you want to um, allow a certain time for a device to be able to access um, the internet anyways so what we want to do is put in our Mac address here, so give it a name. So it's gonna be a test. Then you know, whatever your Mac address numbers are, numbers and letters. And you're just gonna hit add and you're gonna save the filter and make sure that this is on um deny. So you're gonna make sure that this is on deny, then you're gonna hit add, then save. Then it will deny this specific device. If you want to allow a specific device, then make sure that you can only have that specific device on allow so either or basically how this works out hit allow then just allow this device if you want to allow just a certain device it can be done through that on the wi-fi devices so you get the idea awesome cool now i hope that this video helps you out and you know if you ever get yourself locked out and if you were testing this on yourself and you only have that one device to connect to the internet don't do that but if you are testing it out just hit the factory reset button. Yes, everything will be wiped out, but um, just letting you know there's that option. So I hope that this video was very helpful. I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Y'all take care. Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate I can see all of you waving, I'm